guys, welcome back to another video. Hey, today's video, I'm back out my big food plot. I'm trying to fix this food plot for this year after I had a pretty big weed problem out there. So that's part one, what I'm trying to attempt to do to fix that food plot. Number two thing I'm doing in this video is going to show you how I'm planting the second half of that food plot in uh, rye and clover. So it's gonna give me, hopefully after I'm done, in about two, three weeks, I'm gonna have a pretty good food plot of what's left over of my brassica plot and basically a brand new uh, rye and clover plot that I can hunt over this year and it'll be attractive to the deer come later in the season. So stay tuned, let's go out and take a look at what I've done. Okay guys, uh, here we're gonna take a look at this uh, big food plot of mine and I wanna give you an update on it. Um, I think in my last video I was telling you how it was kind of pretty much ruined got taken over by these weeds and it, it, it is it's these weeds have pretty much taken over and stunted all my brassicas in this field now the next thing I'm doing I've done is I just went ahead and terminated the field I sprayed this about four or five days ago with uh, glyphosate and I don't know if you can tell but a lot of these weeds now are all starting to wilt and turn brown so what I'm gonna do next is uh, go through this thing and and uh, overseed it now with rye and I'm gonna mix in some clover so what I'm hoping for is this dies down now I'll get some, my rye down underneath will start to germinate and I'll actually then have a food plot here I think I can still salvage it it's a uh, September 17th today so that's gonna give it you know rye can grow pretty quickly and, and again it's a it's a cold you know cold season cereal grain so you know it, it'll grow right up until it gets you know really cold and stay green all through the winter underneath the snow and and then come springtime it'll pop back up and I think what I'm going to do is then use that rye as a cover crop for next year and just take my cultipacker next year and just roll over top of it as it gets you know once it goes to seed or right before it goes to seed you know when the stalks are about five foot high I'll go ahead and roll it all over and then then use that as uh, hopefully like a mulch layer that'll help keep the weeds down and uh, and also keep the uh, soil moisture in so that's my plan for next year I think it'll work pretty good um, but I got to get these weeds under control and I'm trying to get this before all these little seed heads here go to seed and I'm gonna reseed my whole food plot with this crappy pigweed again so that's what I'm doing today. I'll take you along, show you as I spread this out with rye, and and I may actually say, you know, since some of my uh, brassicas are so far down, they may have actually survived some of this spring. So I might still have a few brassicas left in this after it's all said and done. So here in this part of the video, what I'm showing you is I'm prepping the second half of my field here for the rye and clover, and. What, what I didn't show you earlier that I did to this field is that I sprayed it uh, with glyphosate about three or four days earlier so you can kind of see some of the weeds are kind of turning brown and now I'm disking them under which is even though if they try to grow back now that I've sprayed them once um, they really won't come back after I disk them under so it should be in good shape for having this ready to go okay I've got the field all disked up now it's ready, almost ready I should say, to plant. I'm going to go ahead and run the cultipacker over at one time before I put the seed down. And the reason why, you can see I've got these grooves in the soil and if I don't smooth that out, all my rye seed will just fall into those grooves. It's going to get planted too deep and then it won't germinate. So I'll smooth it all out with the cultipacker first, put my seed down and then come back and cultipack over it again. Uh, the other thing is my, well I'm going to call my failed brassica plot, I'm just going to go ahead and seed right over top of that. And then the plan is, is as those weeds die down, then underneath my rye will germinate and start that food plot all over again with, and then those, those weeds will just fall down on top of it and the rye will just come up through. So that's the plan on that side over there. I'm not going to go ahead and disc that over again. Actually, I have some clo clover in there. I have some brassicas that are still alive in there. So I'm just going to let that go. 
and just give it a little bit more with the rye and a little bit of clover mixed in and see what happens on that side. So I'll keep you in touch as we keep going through the fall here, show you how this thing turns out. Hopefully it turns out much better than that side over there. I think we got a good shot at it. Okay, here I am uh, smoothing out my food plot with a cult packer. It's a pretty important step here just because, you know, I've got this is going to firm up the soil to get the get it ready for the seed. And like I said, with the small seed that I'm planting with the rye and the clover, it's pretty important to make sure I've got a firm seed bed before I put that down into the ground. And then here's where I, uh, now I'm cult packing over top of the seed. I've already got the seed in the ground at this point. I didn't share the video of me spreading the seed with my spreader. Um, but one of the things I did here with the spreader was I didn't calibrate it very well. So what happened was I got about maybe about 80 pounds of rye on this half acre. So that's probably maybe about 50% heavier than what I should have planted it. It should have been about 50 pounds for this half acre, maybe even 40 pounds for this half acre. So definitely a little bit heavy on my rye seed but in the end it probably will be fine because rye it's kind of like a grass it'll come up and it'll be fine so i didn't have very much clover so that's one thing i will have to come back and add a little bit more clover to this food plot here in the future and with the clover i can seed that at any time um, i can get it in this fall and then uh, it'll come up a little bit, it'll go dormant in the winter time and then come spring it'll, it should take right off. So that's something I'll probably do at a later date, give it a little bit more clover in here, but it should be in good shape come next spring. So that's what I'm doing here, finishing up uh, culta packing and this thing's going to be ready for waiting for some rain. Well, there we go, guys. As you can see, uh, I'm actually pretty pooped out right now. Um, you can tell by the sky. I've been out here um, from the time I started. I've been out here all day. Um, many things, uh, which I didn't have the camera for, go wrong. You know, got to fix things, got to pick things up. Uh, forget tools, you know, those types of things. <laughs> got to go back and get things. Um, so it's been a long day, but... I just finished up cult packing the, the rye into this field. So this thing should be ready to go. Just need some rain on it now. Hopefully uh, you learned a few things in this video. Like I said, I'm um, going to try a couple things on the, the brassica plot over there. I did put some rye into that. Uh, as that dies down, we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'll keep tabs on this plot. Uh, there'll be a future video. Probably in about a couple weeks, I'll give this one to start popping up. Hopefully I'm going to get rain. Um, that's been one of the problems here lately. Uh, it's even hurt my other brassica plots that had been doing really well is probably gone a couple weeks without any real rain. So I'm kind of dry. Um, you could probably see that when I was uh, going over the field with my culta packer. There's a lot of dust. I'm probably covered in dust. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, need a lot of rain. This time of year we should be getting it. So fingers crossed. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you like this type of thing, stay tuned, subscribe, um, leave a comment. Let me know if uh, you see something here that I did that uh, maybe I could do better or um, something that you do similar that, uh, that might work for you. I'd appreciate the comments and look forward to seeing you in the next video.